All right, my boo babies. How you doing? I am back. So now we're doing part two of tours monthly, September 2020. This is money and school and work and all the other bullshit outside of love. I have a feeling love is going to work its way into this. I saw the Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins, uh, the King of Coins. So this is about definitely your stability, your finances, what you're doing, how you're doing, what you're doing. So let's see what we got. I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's see, see, stability. Fours are about stability. Just saying. Using a different deck, using the old deck. Disruption, fuckers. <laughs> Disruption. How you like them apples? So let's see what we got going on for money and everything else for the month of September. Yeah, manifestation. Eight is two fours. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Four goes into 16, what, four times? I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just, I know a little bit of math. That's about the extent of it right there. <laughs> Stand your ground. Solar plexus, the I can. Yes, you can. Those of you that are dialing your abilities as an entrepreneur, or working solo, working from home, yeah, you can. There's no reason why you can't. So don't be with that. I need me. Yes, you can. We're going to use the I can as your centerpiece. Accelerated motion down here at the end and using your, that third eye. <clears throat> See how many similar things we get out of this reading that we got from the love reading so let's work this out overall energy front end environment is pulling the strength card once again disruption pulls the chariot light first week pulls nine of coins then we start the last reading off with that card yes we did spiritual career pulls the princess of coins manifestation who is the two of wands? Huh? Hmm. The manifestation card. Who knew? Stand your ground. Pulls the death card. Solar plexus pulls the justice. That showed up in the last reading. Truth pulls the fool. Effort pulls the king of swords. The very person we were just talking about in the love reading. Partnership and alliances pulls the four of coins. Some of y'all are guarded. Material harvest pulls the queen of cups. Deception and envy pulls the knight of cups. Accelerated motion pulls the Ten of Wands. Third eye chakra pulls the Eight of Cups. So, this ain't no bad reading for all of that. Uh, your overall. And let's just talk about strength for a minute. We are moving into uncharted territory, dear Taurus. Fuck the fact that Uranus is all up in our shit for the next six years. Fuck the fact that you got a pandemic and some other shit. To hell with all of it. It's going to be about the decisions and the choices that you are making right now. Many of you are not making those tried and true decisions like typical tourists. You're doing some other shit. The energy is requiring that we do just that. That we make a decision that we wouldn't ordinarily make. That we do something we wouldn't ordinarily do. You may have to pull on the fours in your environment. You know who they are. The rock solid people. This is up in your overall energy. You may be looking for collaborating, mm -hmm. especially with that entrepreneurial shit. You may be looking at it. Requires a level of courage. Jump out there on your own. Come on now. And do some shit that you ain't done before you have this this is major energy you got two major cards sitting up in the top of your overall energy so yes it's time for changes you can do this Taurus don't feel like you can't talk about the disruption card we'll talk about those building blocks those pieces that make up you but they have everything to do with everybody else hmm that part so you got some disruption going on because 
people in everybody's life right now playing musical chairs. Let, let's just kick it down to its lowest level. You're on Facebook, you got a bunch of friends, and now you realize that you are not the Trump supporter. A lot of those people are Trump supporters, and they're kicking them off your page, they're getting off your page, all could, it's that kind of disruption. We're playing musical chairs now. Who's important to us? Who believes things, values things the way that we do? And yeah, while that is upsetting and disruptive, as it is, it is all to the good. Which then brings you here on the back end, and this is the shit in your gut that's kind of holding you down in your overall energy. Making decisions, getting ready to act on choices. I'm not dealing with this group anymore. I'm hanging with this group over here. And that, that has major implications in your life because now you are literally, Wheel of Fortune been spun, has been stopped. And now it's like, oh, whoa, this is new. You've been here before. <laughs> so this is up in your overall energy. You got the power, you got the strength, you can do whatever it is. All you need to do now is which side of the road you're going to. That's where you are. In the first week, with the nine of coins sitting on top of the light card, once again, it's about looking at what you got and what you can do with what you got and make that shit up to a higher standard. It's a nine. So we're talking about completing. So some of you have been studying, maybe not necessarily something in school, but something else. Astrology, astronomy, tarot, anything. But you've been doing this, working on it. More nines, damn it. But actually this nine with the one gets you to a ten. Ha, 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 ha. Complete. Long as you're standing up in your light. As long as you're letting your light shine. Let me go a little further with that. As long as you're getting your name out there. Ooh, standing in your light. You're going to be good. It's just that simple. There's no equivocating about this. If you've had any self-doubt, any hesitation about, I don't know if I can do this by myself. Yes, you can. Get out there, hang your little shingle up. You're doing hair, nails, whatever. Get your shingle out there. Do not be afraid of the light. Some of y'all are like, I can't do this by myself. Yes, you can. Some of you may have decisions to make about your job. In, in light of <laughs> the pandemic, maybe it's time for you to get away from whatever you've been doing for the last 200 years. Get in your own light and do this shit for you. So you can create the shit that you want to create. Spiritually. You see, you can't do none of this without having some kind of connection to spirit. I don't care what you are. Methodist, Baptist, witch, pagan, whatever. Understanding your relationship to your spiritual career. Wherever you are on that path. That 7 and 8 make 15. 1 and 5 make 6. Six is all about the harmony. So having harmony, blending what you believe spiritually with what you do every day. I know you're like, how we do that? Yeah. If you're going to talk it, go ahead and walk it. Walk it like you're talking. Ain't that the song? Come on now. That's where you are. And so in that energy... This is new because she's a princess, so she's not that old. This is newer energy. It's not this time about giving away too much, but it's about realizing the resources. It's pentacles. Come on. Realizing the resources that you have. Giving thanks. Mm. Being grateful. It's not about the giving away too much. Some of you may need to give more. You may need to do more for those around you. All of that ties into your spiritual career, your karma, if you will. Working on it. Something new that not only is going to help you, 
but also want to help somebody else. If you've just been working a regular nine to five job and you're sick of that shit and the pandemic is most shit, here you go. Doing something that's going to help you and somebody else. That's what this energy is right here. And then fuck it. Go ahead and manifest what you're trying to do. There's nothing stopping you but you. Once again, you see that eight up there. This is about stability on every level. Manifesting on every level. Love, money, finance, job, shit, school, everything. But manifesting on every level and then going back and tweaking what needs to be tweaked. Getting rid of any unnecessary thoughts. Oh, yeah. And then acting. This is fire. Acting on it. Not just, okay, I had a brilliant idea. Okay, and you've done what? First week, busy, busy, busy. Paying attention to what you're trying to manifest and what you're trying to create so you can have a better, more stable life. And let me say this, because somebody needs to hear this, and I probably need to hear it too. Just because you have a 9 to 5 job and somebody is giving you a paycheck every two weeks does not mean that you are happy, healthy, and horny. It doesn't. It means that you are going somewhere operating out of somebody else's little rule book. And it may not be blending too tough with this. If you are in a toxic work environment, come on, talking about manifesting something better than that. It's because you're getting a check there every two weeks doesn't mean that it's stable. I know I'm talking to somebody and just because you think it's a good job doesn't mean it's going to be there long. Come on. Tweaking it. Tweaking it. Time to move on. Second week, just what the fuck I'm talking about. Transformation. Letting some shit go. Not giving it the air, water, or oxygen mm, that it needs. Killing it. Because it's not working for you anymore. It's going to bring you right here. You're going to have to stand your ground. You have to tell some people, back back the fuck up. Six feet. <laughs> back it up. Stand your ground. And let this transformation happen for you, Taurus. You will be happier. I know it's stressful. Like, oh, this is not Taurus. We're so practical. And this is not practical. Yes, I get, I get that part. Go on and walk through that light. Let it happen. Let the change happen. You got all this major energy sitting up on the damn board. Not for no reason. It's time. It's coming. It's coming. You're just desserts. Some of you deserve to be working for yourself. That I, I, maybe nobody said that to you before. But yeah, you do. Because it'll be better for you. Getting justice out of those things that you know that you can do. Whoa. One more time. Whether you want it or not. Because see, that's major energy, so fuck it. It's happening. And having things actually turn out in your favor towards that part. Financially. Where you're not, if we're not never without money. Even if you ain't got it, you always know somebody that does have it. Let's just talk about it. But now doing it for yourself and allowing the universe to give you those things that other people have not given you. Because you've been working for them. And they done told you, you can't get more than $15 an hour. Yeah, oh yeah, you know what? Yes, I can. Go do it myself and all of it will be mine. That part right there. And knowing, knowing that you can do it. Period. Gets us right here to the next major card on the damn board. How many major cards we got? One, two, three, four, five. Five major cards. Yeah, that, that's a change. Five is change. There's a lot of change. But you're going to have to take some risk. Emotional, physical, financial. So you can be where you want to be in 20. You see it? And that's about facing up to some truths. And this is hard because I'm going through a little bit of this right now. Facing up to the truth that I have not been living up to my full potential. I haven't. I had enough degrees to wallpaper a damn house. Many times over. 
and I'm doing some old dumb shit. Because I'm lazy. I'm a bull. Come on, now. I don't like change. I don't like living in the midst of change. Huh? That part. Face whatever little dark boogeyman demon you got sitting up under your bed telling you you can't. You see that 20 up there, right? Get up in your own truth and take that damn risk and do what the hell you need to do. And see, when you do this, this is, this is my fear for most of you. When you do this, you're going to be like, the fuck? I could have been doing this 10 years ago. Yeah, that part right there. But understand, there may have been some things you needed to go through, some things you needed to learn, some things you needed to understand to get you right to this point to be like, okay, fuck it, I'm going to just take the risk. I'm going to kill the boogeyman. Come on now, the death card up there at the beginning. I'm going to kill the boogeyman. And I'm going to do the damn thing. Brings us to the third week. Your effort. Let's just look at this. And I'll be damned. Don't one in three make four? Oh, shit. Come on now. Your effort. The same effort you put into a regular nine to five job. How about we do that for us? And this time, we the boss. How about that shit? And this is air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Putting your know-how and your intellect into this, putting that effort into this so you can reap the reward. There's no reason for you not to, to be all kinds of goony Google on this. You should be. You should be happy. Here's your challenge. I thought it was something else earlier, but this, this is definitely it. This works and will work better you can do this by yourself, but it'll work better if you start reaching out. It is not, I've seen ask for help this morning on cards probably three or four times between these two readings. It's, there's no shame in saying, hey, I want to collaborate with you. Or, hey, I want to get with you and ask you some questions about what you're doing because I'm thinking about doing something similar. Instead of being old, tired ass, woolly ass, bull guarded, my coins, I don't want to, never mind, that's okay. No, 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 no. So your challenge for the month of September is to reach out at least three times. You see that three up there? And see what the hell you come up with. Huh? And quit being so damn guarded. I'm not telling you to give away your damn trade secrets or the recipe your grandmama gave you making sweet bread that you're trying to sell online. I am not talking about that. I'm talking about true collaboration with somebody. Mentoring. Getting that extra help. Doing something with somebody else. Piggybacking off of what they're doing and learning in that process. But if you're going to be all like this, the same way this card eclipsed this one, you're going to miss some shit. So you're going to have to let one or two of them little rings down, dear bully and get on with the business of the day because put out the hell material harvest <coughs> this, was, this is the object of the game material harvest you plant seeds in the ground damn it so they can grow the same thing you plan and be doing all of this so it can grow so you can get the harvest don't don't do no unnecessary don't get all emotional about it. no let's keep it moving Let's keep it moving. Yes, she's the queen of cups. Yes. It's about keeping that in check. And having the upper hand in your own shit. That's what I'm talking about. Keeping your emotions. Most of the time, it's our emotions that'll fuck us up. Keeping your emotions in check and not getting messy with some shit. Woo. Because once again... This is what you're trying to do. This is all about the business. At the end of the month, there may be some jerk. Oh, I love your sweet bread. It's so good. Line. Trying to get in where they fit in. The deception comes because of the envy. You heard me. See, and you looking at your shit like, it, it's just my grandmama's recipe. I was just going to sell it online and it ain't that big a deal. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. You got people trying to woo you out your drawers to get that recipe. Come on. The envy leads to the deception. So at the end of the month, I'm going to say all month. Fuck it. Don't let nobody sweet talk you out your grandmama's recipe. Because they trying to do the same thing that you do. Don't let them undercut you, undersell you. Don't let them do none of that shit. Again, the envy leads to the deception. They're envious. They want to be able to, to swing their ass the way you swinging your ass. And mad that you doing it. Gonna come all out like this. Oh, it's so awesome. I didn't see it. And see, there's a fine line. We're going to walk on this one. There's a fine line between collaborating with somebody and somebody trying to get up in your shit. And that's real talk. So know the difference. Because this is coming. You're going to have all of this. And when you're dealing with business, this goes with business. But this is for sure somebody trying to come and talk that poo-poo so they can get your shit. Because they jealous. Huh. Once you get through all of that, and I'm going to say accelerated motion starts now. Then it ate again. Be damned about that st stability. You are going to blow up. Whoever this is resonating with, whatever you're doing, whatever little iron you got in the fire, it's gone. But with that comes burden, responsibility. With opportunity, come on, comes burdens and responsibilities. And you ain't doing nothing. Even if you're moving into a brand new house, huh? It's, it's a burden and a responsibility on the one hand. Beautiful home. I love your living room. You had to move all that damn furniture in there. Come on. Took you three days. Don't shirk this. This is action. Don't shirk this. Because this completes all this work and stress and shit that you, you definitely are going to be under when you are trying to do your own thing. It be stressful. Recognize it for what it is. Put it in the box that it belongs in and keep it moving. Keep it moving. Mm, accelerated motion. At the end of this, following your intuition, Getting up off their rocky ass cups. Many of you in jobs right now that's just got your emotions all in a jumble and a tangle. Because the fuck. And that shit's all fucked up. They want you to continue walking on cups like you a damn ice skater. Get up off that shit and get onto the ground. The shit that you are familiar with. Which has probably got something to do with what you want to do. You being jerked around on your job right now on somebody else's bullshit. These ain't even cups you turned over. Come on. Get up off that shit. I said this a couple days ago in these toxic ass work environments and you come home and you want to know why your ass hurt, your legs hurt, your knees hurt because you in that toxic ass environment at work. How about deuces miss me with that shit I'm out. By the end of the month many of you will be there Many of you during the first part of the month are going to be working so you can get here. Yeah, I'm talking about the pandemic like it's bad. I'm trying to tell you it ain't. Shake some shit up, let some shit loose so you can do what you need to do. Changing your environment, having the strength, huh? And the wisdom to know that you can do all of this. You can do this, Taurus. And you younger Tauruses, I'm particularly talking to y'all. You can do this. You can do this. should be nothing holding you back. Not a man, chick, nor child. You should go ahead and do what you're going to do to take care of yourself for your long-term prosperity. Damn. Just saying. I'm just saying. Ain't that 13 down there? Damn. Four is all over the place. Four is definitely about stability. A table has four legs. A chair has four legs. If either had three, yeah, you'd be a hurt ass, wouldn't you? So it's about stability. And this is all telling you the stability is here. If you go for what you want with your heart. Ha. Huh? Another head over heart decision, maybe? What your heart wants you to do. If you want to go do rainbow hair, 
Go to Rainbow Head. Why, why are you stopping? Who's stopping you? And then see, this time next year, you're going to be mad. I didn't know Rainbow Head, nigga. I go make this much money doing Rainbow Head. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Didn't I just say this? What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. What? Go for it, Taurus. Just go for it. Go for it. You ain't got nothing to lose. This this is my motto. This has been my motto all of my adult life. I was looking for a job when I found this one. Come on. Come on. Y'all got lucky because I chose you. That part right there. If there's something pulling on you, Taurus, to do it, quit bullshit. What the hell you waiting for? Get on with that shit. Put some action behind those thoughts. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> I can't make it up. I can't. I don't care what the fuck I do. I can't make this shit up. It's time for many of you. It's time to let that old, stale, stodgy ass job you done had as a barista for the last four years. Tell me bye. They don't want to pay you. They don't want to give you no bonus. You done showed up every day for the pandemic. They don't want to give you. Fuck them. Goodbye. Deuces. I'm out. I'm just saying. Sticking around. You can go work for yourself. And so we're talking about collaboration. Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Come on. Come on. I'm just saying. If you need some help, this is perfect time to get help, to ask for help, because a lot of people are in the same situation that you're in. They're looking to change up. Like I said, we talk about letting people go, that disruption, people, the, the, the building blocks, the people that make the building, they're changing. This is changing. All this shit is changing. Ask for help. The hell. A lot of people in the same situation you in. They trying to change up. They got disruption going on in their life. Their little friends list is changing. Come on. Listen. 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 Whatever you need to listen to, listen. This is sound check. Listen. If you listen, you will hear what you need to hear. That much is true. You listen, you will hear what you need to hear. Oh, damn. Okay, Taurus, that's the second time today. Woo-woo is wonderful. All of this right here is wonderful. This is the in love part of the working world. Enjoy this. Because then when you become multi-multi, and I got to call you through your agent, come on, you gonna be too busy to enjoy the woo woo part. Enjoy this. It's frustrating. It's exciting. It's time consuming. It's a headache, but it feels good. Enjoy this, because once you start making money and you got a product out there, you got to start now reproducing see a product every week. Woo woo, honeymoon over. I'm just saying. You can know it's yours and all of that. All this chaos right here, enjoy this. Everything doesn't have to be towards just so practical in the way that we think it should be. Enjoy this. There's beauty in all of this because at the end of it, you are trying to create something of value that's gonna do something for somebody else. How many times are we gonna have that conversation? Let go, just let go. In these toxic ass work situations, I know many of you are in them because you in my inbox. So I, I get it. I have a similar situation. It is time to let go. Situations that are no longer serving you professionally. Schools, come on, that are no longer serving you. Parents, I'm talking to y'all too now. You got your kids going somewhere and they done told you some other bullshit. Let go. Let go. And when you let go, the alternatives start popping up. 
because you don't have all that tension. I love you, Taurus. You know I do. I hope y'all have a good weekend. I'm going to talk to you soon. Bye-bye, y'all.